What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another video. This time it is uh, uh, a list of 10 Atome games on the Nintendo Switch. Um, for those guys who don't know what Atomes are, Atomes are ver uh, basically, I'm going to use the, the example that one of our books gave us, which was an Atome actually, uh, which is games particularly aimed at women in the romancing adventure genre so these are always gonna most always gonna be female romancing males um in the Atomi franchise and um i fell in love with these kinds of books like maybe two three years ago i started picking up a lot of them i haven't read all of them on this list and i will let you know which ones i haven't read but i did read a few of them and then some come highly recommended and i have a lot more than just what's on this list but i'm going through these slowly as each route is its own like beat game because most routes in each game don't have a long common route and then they spread off into their own so and some of them have branching like good bad and okay endings so that's why these games are longer for me to beat which is why it takes me longer to go through them all right let's get to the first game um and we're gonna talk about Cafe Enchante, which was actually my introduction to Otome's. Uh, this one is a girl who finds a cafe, not finds, her grandfather gives her a cafe on as he departs on his will, and she has the option whether to take the cafe or not. She goes to inspect the cafe and finds the secret door, um, and she opens it, and once she opens it, it unlocks all these mythical beings from other realms. You get like five mythical beings that come in you get like an angel a demon a were a firewolf an, a fallen angel like all of these mythical beings um come into the cafe um as soon as you open the door and you are now whether you decide to keep the uh to keep the cafe or give it away there is an organization um that's run by another uh, faction that wants to have the cafe and you know to monitor the inhabitants of this cafe so it's up to you whether you choose to keep it or not um and the the men i i love the different men like i love games that can't happen irl which is why i really love this one like where are you gonna meet a headless fairy or a demon a demon uh from another dimension or a fallen angel or a firewolf like all of these are romancing options in your game so i definitely loved the story of this and i'm i'm so happy that this was my first um intro into the to the romance genre of atomes let's get into the second atome and this is also another beat and played game i beat every route on this one as well and this one is p.o fiore and p.o fiore faded memories specifically because p.o fiore has two books right now there's the main one and then the fandest which would you would only get after you read uh P.O. Fiori but we're not going to talk about fandest in this one every game on this list is going to be a stand uh, the first game in its genre and so in P.O. Fiori Faded Memories you are um romancing mafia dudes so there's like um three mafia factions in this one um, Italy in 19 it takes it pl um, place in Berlin in 1920s in the 1926 I believe or 1924 something like that and um, you are romancing these mafias you find you are like this girl named Liliana she is an orphan and she is being raised by uh, a nun in a church where um that's where she grew up so she knows not much of the outside world i mean she knows about the mafias and she knows to stay clear of the mafia people but she is um in this world and for some reason every mafia head wants her like two of them specifically know why they want her and one of them just was like i don't know why she's important to you guys but i want her so every one on this route is also a standalone game like the game has a core theme but but every route plays slightly different which is why when it comes to the the, the second versions which i'll talk about at another time but i'll i'll, I'll touch on it now uh i want to kind of like go through the first route 
in each story and then play the second route in the fantas if i know there's a fantas so that i don't get confused again because each route is completely completely different now uh with that being said you have like i said three mafia heads you have dante you have uh gilbert and you have yang and they all play completely different um one is the chinese mafia and the other two are italian mafias and they're warring over territory and and you of course um so that's like the gist of the story there are underlying themes and they're all underlying religious themes as well so if you don't want like religious content it's not a lot but it does it is like a focal point in the story it's not the main premise of the story but it is like what would lead some of these characters um i would say just skip this one also it has a lot of like mature themes um i did a whole review on this if you want to go see what this game is about and i talk about all the characters and all all of that in that review now the next one is a game that i've touched lightly on i haven't completed it i had to stop it because i was getting too invested but i was on another visual novel at the time so I stopped playing this one to play another one. And the one I'm talking about is Virtue Evermore, uh, Era of Salvation. And now this is also the first one. There is a fan that's coming soon. Um, this one has to deal with death. So this one's a more darkish love story where everybody in this town um, like dies at 23. Uh, unless they do something special like so they start creating like clones of themselves and downloading their memories like you had to pay uh, a, a fee to do that so only the really expensive people who have lots of money can afford to download their memories and clone their bodies and the only memories you have when you're re reborn are the memories of you had when you downloaded so anything that happened to you before after you downloaded your memories you're not going to remember and the reason why this is important is because somebody's killing a lot of people in this town and not everybody can afford to download their memories so some of them stay dead and some of them come back but they obviously don't know who killed them because at the time they downloaded their memory they were still alive um and happy at that point um and some and society sometimes for some people deems this um, rebirth process as unnatural. There are a lot of people that are for it and there are a lot of people that are against it. So they're warring on that. And then your main protagonist is like death. They, in a sense, like death follows her everywhere. And there's a mass murderer around the town and you go with your friends to find out what's happening with these deaths. And that is where I left off. I never, I was still on the common route as far as i know i was still on the common route i hadn't picked a suitor to follow or anything like that but the story is so interesting so interesting guys but i had to put it down because i wanted to finish another book um so that's the story of virtue evermore the next game i want to talk to you about is code realize uh guardians of rebirth i believe that's how it's called now this one has two fandas um so make sure that if you want to start from the game from scratch you are getting the cold realized guardians of rebirth the other two are winter tide miracles and i can't forget i remember the the second one but guardians of rebirth that's the one you want that's the first one so in cold realize um the premise is that the female protagonist can't be touched like her skin or whatever she touches dies immediately it's like a bit like she's a bit of poisonous so i you know i like i said i love games that are in like the this can't happen genre and i love that a lot of people like this book so much that they came out with two fandoms so um yeah so she can't touch anything so she's basically isolated in her home uh the same writer that wrote cafe enchante wrote this one so i am so excited 
to play this one one of these days i'm gonna get to it but this one definitely has two fans that will come right afterwards so um we will see how i read this one i'm definitely looking forward to this one the next game i want to talk to you guys about is color x malice now this one also has a fan this which we're not getting into but you want to make sure you get color x malice and not color x madness unlimited unlimited is the fan disc. so the first one is uh, you don't want the unlimited version you want the the color x malice version so in color x malice you are a young police officer the main protagonist um and then you're under a city under siege with this organization that's attacking people left and right um and they the t the organization abducts you and literally puts like this poisonous collar around your neck um, and they can end your life at any moment so you're running around with five other people to that are offered to help you um, and you're trying to figure out who you can trust um, and you're like hoping that this thing around your skin I mean you're around your neck um, doesn't like kill you while you're trying to end the, the stuff that's going around and you're like sleuthing around as well you you have to make sure that like the people on the other end because i think they can hear what's going on through the collars so you have to make sure that anything you're saying is not i guess hearable by the uh the people that can hear you through the collar um so yeah i just like that it's kind of like a detective game in a world that again like something that couldn't happen in real life um and then she's still finding love through this um kind of disaster that's going on so yeah i'm also looking forward to playing this one as well the next game i want to talk to you guys about is Doron Paki party. I don't know how to pronounce Dar Dargon Paki. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm not gonna gonna pretend this one doesn't have a fan this thankfully. Um this one is also in like the fantasy realm in which I love. So she can see these um things that others can't like spirits and apparitions and like other creatures uh with her talents that lead her to join a secret government agency she's like in this occult department um where she's assigned like to monitor powerful beings that travel in between worlds um she has to kind of befriend them and like practice as gatekeeper to make sure that none of these traveling spirits um you know cause any interdimensional troubles uh, this reminds me so much this like the the, the synopsis of it of um, Cafe Enchante, which is why I was super excited to get this one. I haven't read it yet, but eventually, eventually, I will read this story. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is Nor Nine Comments. Now, this one also has a fan this, and that's Last Era, but the one we're talking about is Nor Nine Comments. Make sure that if you want the first version and not the fan this, not the second book, um, you are looking for Nor Nine's Comments. So in Nor9 Commons, there are actually a bunch of routes you can take. There are three female protagonists in this one. So you can be any of the three female protagonists. And each of the fe three female protagonists, I think, get three love interests that they can romance each. So there's so many routes in this one that you can take. Um, the, the kind of premise is this. Uh, where you're, um, when you find yourself, this kid finds himself on a mysterious ship that has all these people with special powers. I remember looking at the box art and they were like chibi looking too as well. So I wonder if that has anything to do with it. But um, yeah, they're set in this journey to this world and they're trying to get, he's trying like the, the child prodigy is trying to get back to his own world because he's been pulled out of it um so I, I i i really really enjoy that this one is going to be kind of a different experience from all the other otomes that are out because i get three females that i can be and then each of these females you know will have three options and so i do love that this is so 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 different 
from any of the other Otomes that I have played or will be playing. The next game I want to talk to you guys about is Olympia Soiree. Um, this one is, I don't think that the fan this is out yet, but I think there's a fan that's coming. So just make sure if by the time you're watching this, this is the first one. If there is a fan this, I believe there's a fan this on this way. I could be mistaken, but uh, this is the first one as well. So this one is another one I haven't read either. And this one, you're... Your Olympia and her whole clan has been wiped out. So she's like the last of her kind and her kind can make the sun come out And so she needs to have a husband and she needs to multiply, but there's a lot of like Racism kind of stuff that we're dealing with in this game. So there's lots of isms uh, if I remember correctly that like if you are not of like the brightest color uh, you're looked down upon you're set upon in different di districts like they have like a rigid class structure and i think that she doesn't like care about the class structure as much which is probably why we have lots of different like men in different shades um but she she definitely needs to fulfill her you know have babies obviously so that she can um, grow her lineage so that they can keep having the the Sun come out and on um, this was a, a weird premise for me but I'm very interested in to see how they kind of deal with racism and classism and all of that in this game so yeah Olympia soiree is the that Atomi the next one I want to talk about is Variable, uh, variable Barricade. Um, I believe this one has a fan disc as well, so just make sure this is the one you want. This is not the fan disc. So in this one, um, you are this girl who doesn't really kind of want to get married. And her grandfather is like pushing her, pushing her, pushing her to kind of get married. And he finally sticks her in a home with like these guys um, that are really probably shitty guys in IRL world. But he sticks her in this home with all these guys and he's like, you gotta marry one of these guys. You have no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're marrying one of these. And I think it has something to do with his inheritance. Like him, him not giving her anything when he passes if she doesn't settle down and marry one of these men of his choosing so um like i said all of these guys um sound like they have something really wrong with them and she's such a strong character that um i don't know how this is gonna work out but i'm super interested to find out as well i'm just there's so many Adobe games uh, i really want to get to this one as well and the last one i want to talk to you guys about is winter's wish spirits um, and this one is also the first one. I don't think there's a fan this out for this one at the time of recording. So in this one, the main character, um, can like see these strong emotions and like these black strings and like wherever she sees like a bunch of black strings appear together in clusters like monsters appear and like these guys come from out of nowhere and like kind of take care of these monsters and the village that she is born into doesn't want her there because they don't realize that she's just seeing what's going to happen they think she's like a fortune teller or making bad prophecies or making these things happen so they don't want her in town anymore and so they exile her from her town but these other people come and recruit her because she can see what's gonna happen you know not really see what's gonna happen but she can see these strings and she can know when disaster is about to fall upon them that when these monsters are gonna appear and these um, these men can take out the monsters as they're appearing um it sounds like an amazing story I look forward to this one a lot um, super super excited about this one 
So that was the last one. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time and watching all these visual novels on the Switch. Um, I'm so happy that I discovered this genre. There's so much world to explore and I typically read my VNs right before going to bed or if I'm at work and I'm like waiting to start my day or in the middle of my day at lunch breaks or my little mini breaks I'll take out my book and read it for a little bit and, and get some reading in um, in the middle of my work day and then this is how I like to read my VNs in the middle because when I get home for the day and I'm usually on my main console but my VN com my 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 switch light is my VN machine and that comes with me everywhere so um I'm always reading a story here or there um trying to finish up a lot of these bns it's just impossible with at the rate they're coming out and how many routes how many boyfriends you have uh, each each story has like maybe uh four at least four and plus characters that you can romance so there's so many guys to romance in these games and so many routes to follow uh, and the common routes on a lot of these are short, so you're starting these games basically from scratch every time you pick another route with a new guy. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about these Tomes and if you didn't know about them. Um, enjoying my thoughts on some of the, the ones I've actually finished and completed. And, um, getting to know the new ones with me so that we can read them together. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed again. Happy gaming. Bye.